guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 6 of My Senpai is Annoyance. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> That's cute. Hmm? Oh, okay, that makes sense. I mean, hey, he's kind of basically cared for her almost all her life, even though we barely really know anything. Oh. So yeah, he really has been taking care of her since she was a kid. Yeah, but it's sweet, though. I mean, flowers are nice. Whether you get them for yourself or someone else. Oh. Hmm. 
Because, the, you know, the one thing that I kind of hate about getting older is the fact is, you know, the the gifts that you kind of get yourself are very subtle. And, and I mean, it's a day more, you still get to celebrate it and everything, but sometimes you kind of wish you had other people to celebrate it with you. But because sometimes, you know, people are busy and everybody doesn't really have time for you, 50 out of 50, you're doing it all by yourself. And honestly... I think now I'm kind of okay with that. I think at first I wasn't, especially like in my early, early 20s. Now I'm like, eh. That that's her grandfather. Yeah. I'm going to laugh if they become friends after this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, because that's all what we really want at the end of the day. <laughs> Even if we can't celebrate with friends, at least we have cake. And cake is always the best thing. <laughs> Brush your tongue up and left your eyes. <laughs> Almost like if <laughs> both of you get mad at each other and neither one of you wants to apologize. It is your name. <laughs> I mean, I 
in a way, he's just a little protective. Just a little teeny tiny fish. Yeah. Mm hmm. When you go fishing in the animal costume, you think you get this big behind fish and it's just teeny tiny. We really having a competition on fishing. And see, he's not such a bad guy. Oh. Are we really now going to have a competition on picking up trash? Huh. really having a competition on trash picking. I mean, yeah, you know, catching fish and... <laughs> Doing baseball, but this... This is extra. He's just very overprotective, and that's okay. No. Good job. 
Nah, babe. Yeah, I feel like that too in this situation. Like, you know how sometimes you, okay, uh, even in this time with COVID and everything, because of the fact is like uh, I've heard and I've seen like a lot of people who were very dependent and on their own, they eventually had to move back home with their parents because of the fact is a lot of things happened. And I feel my biggest thing is I'm afraid that once I do move out on my own, it is going to be very, very hard for me and such. And I feel like depending on whether it's my mom, my dad, whoever, we know that they're not going to be here forever. And it's really hard. It, it, hell, even now it's stressful. It, it's very freaking stressful. I have fears that sometimes I feel like I'm not going to make it. <laughs> but I think the worst thing about myself is I don't even try. So, yeah. Yes, jot that down in your notes. Hmm? Oh, what happened? allergy season yes even though we are only in november i know that is coming for me very soon <laughs> i'm guessing your grandfather helped you oh Sweet. What's wrong? Are you sure about that? Because, I mean, everything seems like a coincidence.
You know, and kind of boyfriend, because, you know, I mean, they act like a couple in a way, so, kind of. That was cute. I mean, seriously, this was such a damn good episode. One, I mean, it's adorable that, you know, both <laughs> Haru and <laughs> Futaba's grandfather care oh so much about her. I mean, you can really just tell how much they both truly care about her. I, I do love the fact that, you know, seeing the backstory of Futaba and her grandfather and even getting to the point where she's like, I want to try living on my own. And not to be very codependent on you. I think, you know, for a lot of us, how I can kind of speak my, for myself a lot as the age that I am. I, I, I'll be honest, like, really, I am very codependent on my parents or my mom a little. Well, no, I, I say both, really for both. Um, because in times of needs, I um, would run to them. And so I think now it's kind of, quote unquote, harder for me to kind of um, do things on my own and stuff. But at the same time, I'm still trying because I don't want to always like run to them for answers and stuff. Because no matter what, at the end of the day, you are just going to have you. Despite you having friends, family, um, animals, whoever. At the end of the day, it is just going to be you and you only. And so I can... In, in this episode and things going on in my personal life, I can see why it's very much you need to be a very independent person and do things on your own and such so that just in case something does happen, you have something to help you with so that you're not like, oh, okay, let me go ask such and such for this and such and such for that when times get hard for me because of the fact, just like I said, you have you just have yourself. Yes, it's nice to rely on friends, family, whoever for certain things, but at the same time, you still need to do things on your own. And I think at that age, Futapa really realized it for herself and so yeah she's she, I, I think as of now is she where she wants to be for the rest of her life possibly I mean she's only 23 years old and such am I at where I want to be for the rest of the life not really um I have a lot more goals and dreams and everything for myself so it's just like trying to better myself that's kind of the same thing with like my youtube channel and such and how I'm like how in the world can I freaking better my youtube channel I mean I've had conversations with people, um, including my lovely mother, um, and some people say, well, maybe you should go back to doing what you should have did in the beginning and stuff, um, which is streaming and everything, and I'm still indecisive on that because I barely had people come, and there is a lot of pros and cons with, like, every truly thing, but, I mean, it you just take it one day at a time. 
And I was like, this was a really interesting, sweet episode. Just love the fact is that at the beginning of this episode, they were both bitter, bitter as heck to each other. And then by the end of it, because of Futaba and other things, and she needed help, they were sweet and they both understood each other and they got to bond. So I feel like we're going to see a lot more moments between Haru and Futaba's grandfather going into the end of this. So, I mean, yeah, that's all I really want. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of My Senpai is Annoying. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode seven. Bye, guys.